Welcome, friends! It is I, Harris Last Guy, and it's time for the one shot. Today we're playing Creepy World 3 Arc Eternal. This is a $15 game by Knucklecracker. This is an indie game that has a very interesting idea. Now, what's happening here is uh, I just gotta show it to you, but it's really fun and addicting. Me and Jinx have played a ton of games here. Like, I spent 10 hours, she spent more than 10 hours, maybe 20, 30 hours on this. It's really fun. I'm gonna show you a couple levels to explain this game, it's the only way to do it. The idea is it's called Creep World 3, and the, the idea of this game is you're fighting the creep. You're making a base network to fight creep, and better way, best way to show you is one of the early levels, so... Go, start. Just go ahead and just restart the world then. Alright, go. So, from scratch, apparently, on that one. So here we're going in here. This game has a ton of levels. So, here, so this is the premise of the game itself. Well, we gotta put down our base. So we're gonna put down our base. Uh, here. High ground. So the way this game works is... As soon as it starts... Let me unpause. There we go. As soon as it starts. So, creep is coming out of this thing. And it slowly covers the world. My job is to not die to it. So... I'm doing the tutorial, apparently. So we're building these things. So, we're going to build our collectors. And collectors cover the map. And this thing's in my way. But they cover the map. And the collectors give you energy so you can build your weaponry. So this is apparently the first level. There you go. Building collectors. You can also pause and build at your leisure. Like so. You can just plan out ahead how you want to build. The music's really good to this game. But there you go. So we're building right now. You can also speed up the game to four times like so. There you go. Now the game wants me to fight the creep. So let's go ahead and do that. Building cannons to fight the creep. And this is your energy usage right here. You see your stuff is going out to the guns right there. And there you go. So now my weapons are full up now. And in order to win the game, we have to destroy this using a nullifier, which we got to get to. So the way this game works is you go ahead and you build collectors here. So just keep building over to this. And the, the creep's not very aggressive in this level, so it's not too much... Go here, so we're just gonna build over and just go destroy that and we'll speed it up. Four times speed, here we go. Just get this done here. Actually, I don't think we need to worry about that. Yeah, we just destroy this. So I just showed the game really quick. This is a tutorial. So all you gotta do is destroy these generators and you win. And you do that by powering them up. So I'm putting a bunch of power into this generator. And nullifier, boom, it's destroyed. That gives a power point. What you build in there gets really strong. And our goal is to collect those things. We have to build into them. I'm at super fast speed, so it's just going through really quick here. Trying to build over to that thing, getting more guns to push the creep back. So it's an interesting idea of building a base to fight the tide. And level done. Claim victory. So that's a level there. You know, that's admitting. Go back, check out another world to show off more complexity. So going further in now. Let's see here, what's a good level to show? This one looks cool, let's check this one out. So every level you beat gives you a new weapon, or a thing to build, and the the enemy also gets stronger in different ways, it's pretty cool like that. So you can go ahead and do this one this time. So this level has a lot of generators! You can see there's space though, so they can only get through these corners, like so. All we're gonna do is get through that, so let's go ahead and build here. We're gonna build a base here. And in this one, uh, we have to unlock some in this one, we gotta unlock things. We gotta get these with collectors to unlock them. So we gotta wait for it to come down. Bring it down. Still some tutorial going on there. So now we're gonna build collectors here. And we're gonna collect new abilities here. As it's going on here. So unlock that right there. Now let's go on and just build more collectors. Cover more area. Oops, right there. And also hold the do like this so they go their distance. You see the tide's coming. The tide is slowly coming here. You just gotta build more so here. So we got new we got new abilities we just unlocked. I'll show them in a second. Ore miner here. And a sprayer. Must efficiently cover all the things better. Or more collecting. There we go. You can see we're using too much energy trying to make all these collectors, so. Hopefully we're okay. There we go, up here, and there. Alright, there we go, now we gotta build ore mines. Relays allow you to just push things further, but they don't pick up stuff. Reactors are, like, they build more energy for you. 
Here we can get ore mines here. So we're building ore mines. Ore is useful for certain things. I'm building ahead of my moons right now. But luckily that stuff's not here yet. Like the creep's not here yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So weapons. We have four weapons now. We got mortars which shoot over walls. Cannons shoot anything uh, even ground or below ground. It's a uh, tide of ground. Sprayers make anti-creep, which is cool. So we want to make these sprayers eventually. For now, we're doing good on energy here. Building like so. And there. Keep building here. So this is a this is a what I like about this game is an interesting strategy kind of game where you're just trying to build against a wave of death coming your way, and it's slowly getting here. You want to build cannons to slow it down, stem the tide. Pretty much. Speed up, so you can see this coming up. The tide's coming. Maybe I play this game too much since I'm doing it, so I'm going to do pretty well right here. So build sprayers to make anti-creep, so you can see what that looks like. See like that? And then you can build a relay here for longer distance, so that... Uh, let's build a relay here. And now we can build a mortar here so we can shoot from distance, hit the creep from there. Make another mortar, let's see here. Building relay over here. Another mortar. There we go, we can shoot it. So now our mortars are shooting. This will stem the tide right there. So then it's just working towards your goal, which is destroying this thing. Destroying these just slows it down. Let's see here, build a relay again. Yeah, there we go, relay. Building another mortar. There we go. And that's really what this game is, is stemming the tide, then building to, to push the tide back. And the different levels, there's a lot of levels in this game that make it very interesting how you achieve that. I just, I'm, just because of choke points, this is, I'm just, it's really easy for me right now. Go here, and here. And build a mortar here. And that stopped. Okay, so there we go. So we want to work our way through here and then destroy that. Basically what we're going to do here. So we're going to go ahead and build a cannon here. Whoops, too far. Too close. Destroy. Put down a relay there. Relay will build this gun and that'll be better there. So that's going to shoot it back once it gets ammo. There you go. And that's really what the game is. And let's see here. After this, I'm going to show a harder level where things are really insane. You can see how intense this game can really get. We're now just building mortars. Build a relay, build a relay. Build a mortar, build a mortar. Build a relay. Build a cannon. Build the cannons and then put a nullifier there. That'll destroy that. Just speeding through it right now, and this will get killed here. As soon as this gets built up, you can, also, you can build more relays to make it faster. So there's just more things getting sent around. And now we can build a super mortar here. A cool thing is you can lift up and you can move these guys around so that you can just put forward so you can be more efficient like these guys back here aren't doing anything you can push them up like so and we're making great progress go and build a relay over here this is like a different kind of game like i really enjoy this game it's just different that's the only way to put it it's a very different game Put more weapons here. Mortar, mortar, mortar. All these mortars just push this tide back so that I can build on the line. So I can build a nullifier here. And this is the game in a nutshell. They're not doing well enough to push it back. They're not doing well enough to push it back. Almost push back. Let me just nullify this one over here. Put these here. It's a whole mess of noise, I know, because of just the way the game works with all the guns firing off. Now that's done, we can just put a relay here and hopefully get a nullifier in here to finish it. Right there. 
Don't get destroyed. He got destroyed. Go me on that. Go me on that. Let's see. I put a re relay to build this guy. I didn't notice. And build a cannon here. Gotta fight that back. And then a nullifier right here. This should do it. There we go. And that'll destroy it in a moment. Unless it gets destroyed again. Uh, okay, we'll build two of these. Build two. Okay, that one got destroyed. So this one get built and then we win. Hopefully. Alright, it's getting filled up and that'll finish the game. Slow it down to show it. The game feels really slow after speeding it up so damn much. And we win! Claim victory, there we go. Okay, now showing a bigger, more crazy level. See, over here. Oh, what's the... Oh, yeah, I gotta show this. So this is where things get very interesting. This stage is cool. I gotta show this one off. Here we go. So missed that. Start it. Yeah, new world. Here we go. So what's cool about this stage... Like, there's so many interesting stages, and here's one of them. This moon sun thing will attract the creep. And you'll see in a second. So this is further in the game, so now I get two of these bases. Build them there. Build collector. Gonna build collectors really quick like. It's planning ahead here. I bet I'm really inefficient. Jinx is gonna hate me for this. Let's see here. And that should hopefully do it. Hopefully. Yeah, okay, there we go. And let's get started here. You see, I got a lot more weapons now. So here we go. So everything gets attracted towards that. This is what's cool. So you have to pay attention to what's going on there as you're getting attacked by the creep. Because when it's over here, you don't have to worry about this. You got to worry about these guys and so on as it's moving. So it's a pretty cool map. I like this one. Now these build, let's see here. So I have a Titan here, Forge. So a Forge gives me upgrades. And these things generate uh, up forge power and then I got a birth which is a big gun let's see here so for now I don't have to worry about the creep but they will come in through all these cracks and all the walls so I have to eventually build forward and shoot those creep spots so let's go ahead and do that and just place a cannon right there there we go if I'm not careful they'll just overwhelm these spots and then I'm done put a cannon but of course I need to have enough energy to overcome um, having low energy. I gotta build plenty of these guys. I also just gotta keep building cannons to deal with them coming here. Now eventually if they, they get enough creep here, they'll just climb over the walls. Now my problem is, yeah, they're right there. So where's the, the sun? The sun's there, so they're gonna come through here soon. So you gotta build towards that direction. Let's see here. Like there, the creep's already coming in. A build anti to those two spots and then they'll come in through here just oh man I gotta build against the coming tide everywhere so I'll keep building against the coming tide there we go eventually they'll come through here look like I got cannons there I got cannons in those spots already so maybe I'll be okay so let's just keep building here build these spots go ahead and build a cannon here there we go and for this crack I need to build a cannon and in there. There we go. That should handle all the cracks for now. As you can see, they're already starting to come over the walls, though. That's very bad for me. But it, at least I got perimeter stops. So now, because of this, they're going to come over here. It might get overwhelming. So let's see here. All right, we got plenty of coverage going on here. Build another collector. So, all right, anti-air. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to build anti-air. So the creep now builds uh, uh, missiles that will come over. And just explode on my base and just make life miserable. So let's go ahead and uh, make upgrades here so I can upgrade energy efficiency, or efficiency, build speed, stuff like that. Weapon distance, a lot of things. You can also make it be a gun instead. So we're looking good on energy. So I can build other weapons here. I'm gonna build the Big Bertha. Big Bertha, why not? Here we go. Big Bertha shoots big cannon. Do that. So for now, I'm fine. Now from there, everything's going to be pushed down. So the idea is you want to focus and destroy some things so you don't have to worry about the tide as much. But let's see here. So we're doing okay right now because I just know what I'm doing. Let's just speed it up. 
and let the let the creep build. And then they got fought the interior there. Just let it get crazy. Let's see here. Weaponry. Build mortars for distance. Okay, so see, that's going that way. So everything's bunching that way. Which makes this level interesting. Luckily, because I know what I'm doing, I built in time. But it's just an interesting idea. And there's a lot of levels like this with a bunch of interesting ideas like so. That's what I like about this game. They do a lot of creative obstacles to deal with. Oh crap, something got destroyed. Okay, I better slow this the hell down. Ooh, that's all that all got through. Whoop! Alright, let's go ahead and build counter to that right now. Let's see here. Build cannons. There we go. I paused the game. So it creeps coming in because I sped up but I did not build counters. So that's all getting destroyed. There we go. That gets fought back now. I gotta rebuild the fences. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that just happened. Okay, so creep came in and caused more trouble. And building again. So I sped that up, but didn't really do too well right there. So I need to start building with a purpose here. So let's just slow this down here. Forge. Get myself more energy efficiency. There we go. So I can just build weapons. So we're going to go ahead and just attack the top guy. Let's do that. So I don't have any anti-air to deal with this one. Crap, that's going to be very bad. So you're going to see what happens right now. This is coming and it hits my Bertha. Oh, that one gets shot down? Yes. Cannon's shooting that right now. My Bertha's getting hurt. Bertha's okay. Shoot the Bertha at that. There we go. So now let's go ahead and start building here. So, so I'm going to build to attack that area. So we're going to go ahead and build mortars here and here. And relays to get those mortars refueled. There we go. Bertha fires, does a bunch of damage to the creep. That just slows things down. Help me out. Things are coming though. We're getting overwhelmed. They're coming over the walls. That's what's happening here. They're not just coming uh, through the cracks. They're coming over the walls because there's just so much of the creep that it's just climbing over because it's going towards this freaking sun. So that's what's happening here. I'm just getting overwhelmed now because I got cocky and just wanted to show things. So we're getting destroyed all of a sudden here. The tide's coming. We got to get these cannons built quick enough. Also, we got to build a relay to refuel that guy. There we go. He's going to get destroyed, though. If we're not careful. And need to start building mortars here. And a relay to that mortar. There we go. And I still haven't built an anti-air because I'm an idiot. Oh, God. Those are going to get destroyed. But this one's going to cause trouble right here. Oh, there go some things. Oh, there go some more things. I need to build anti-air already. Oh, build an anti-air is built. Okay, good. Go ahead and look at my forge for more upgrades. Give my weapons better fire rate and range. And things are getting destroyed. Another cannon. There we go. Oh, those cannons will be enough to hold that back while I work on this area. The strongest points when it's right here, then I can kill that a lot easier. So let's just keep building here. Relay. Mortar. 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 There we go. Speed up. Bertha really helps when she shoots the crap out of that. They were built up now. There we go. So now they're going to be able to shoot it back. And I can build collectors. And then build cannons, like so. And then I can build nullifier within range right here. Right here. Right. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up. Uh, right here. Right there. And the hope is that I did this fast enough that it doesn't get destroyed by the coming tide. Don't get destroyed. Don't get destroyed. Bertha really helped there. Can we take it out in time? And we might. Oh, the creep's coming fast, though. It's destroyed. Get there. Got it. No, that's destroyed. There's not to worry about that anymore. We got to worry about these other two, though. And essentially, we just have to build to fight those things. But we also want to get rid of these stupid anti, these stupid air units. We'll build over there. Luckily, the creep's going to go away, so I can just go build towards it and then destroy it. Speed up! And there we go. Nullifier in place, and that'll destroy it. There we go. Yeah, that'll get destroyed. That'll be helpful. Ah, oh, crap! My stuff got destroyed! Where did, where did my stuff get destroyed? Oh, that's dead. That works. Uh, forge, more efficiency... Four things there. Okay. Oh, then. You can build, like, reactors on here to give you a lot of energy, which is nice. I'm going to do that. There we go. 
Of course, you need to protect these things from the creep eventually. Let's go and put another actor here. Terps are cool. You can use terps to build walls. Uh, guppies are used to send energy to places. I should show the air units. Let's see here. Strafers! And a bummer. There we go. Build those guys and chill those. So you can just have strafers just constantly attack a spot. You can also have bombers constantly bomb a spot. Like so. This spot is not well defended from that, so I need to build cannons here. Oh, and the air unit just screwed me over. Relays. Need to build relays over here. There we go. Speed up! Get those cannons built! There we go, they're built. They're not... They're the, now they have ammo. So they should be safe-ish. So yeah, I see this area into shooting. You can build like a bunch of area units to just do it faster. What am I doing? So this is gonna get overtaken because of the fast creep coming. Yeah, like that. So that's not good. But once it goes here, this spot's screwed. Because the creep's not gonna go this way. Okay, there we go. Now the creep's going that way, so I can go ahead and just build down. And then it'll be easier to destroy. Eventually. Oh yeah, Bertha's shooting in the wrong spot. <laughs> there you go. We're just constantly dealing damage, and this is a battle of attrition. That's really what it is. Eventually we will attrition win this, and the creep uh, will not overtake us unless we make dumb mistakes. But for the most part, we got it. Okay, that's getting annoying. That thing's getting annoying. So the source of the lines got destroyed. Whoops. There's this stupid area in it. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, it gets by and then just destroys things. Ah, oh, crap. I took too long. Oh, let's blow down. Let me just build defenses with these things. There we go. Speed up. That's going to get destroyed. Yeah, that got destroyed. Yeah, that's all getting destroyed. Yep, I'm losing all my things. Yeah. Okay. Do that again better, though. I could build a bajillion strafers, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. All the strafers necessary. And just have them all attack this spot to slow it down. Let's do this right. Let's see here. Build. Earth attack slows that down. Build a cannon here. Build here. Speed it up again. Build another, build a cannon in a better spot. There we go. I could be doing this faster with relays. I should be doing relays. See, all these guys are just shooting the crap out of this spot, so it makes it easier. Slow down. Or jump more energy. There we go. Move speed. There we go. So, activate that. What was I doing here? Weapons. There. Relay. Relay. Cannon here, cannon there, nullifier here. There we go. Now, did I do good enough here? And the answer to that question is... Yes! Okay, that's done. Okay, so go into a different spot. we got to go this way now. So we're going to go ahead and build this way. Got to get around the creep now. Have all my ships attack this. Right Wrong spot! Whoops! Back that spot! There we go! And all we're gonna do is just build everything in place and finish. Now we of course can do this smarter, which is... Pause! And then just put the relay here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and there, 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 there we go. And then we just build a bunch of weapons around it. Like crazy, and then packet speed, and then hit on pause, and just watch it happen. Hopefully, it happens correctly. No, it's getting destroyed. No, I'm losing my stuff. No, no, there we go. I really need to get that. There we go. Just got it. Yeah, we got story. Skip that. Okay, there we go. Nullifier in place, and that should finish the game right there. Oh, you can zoom out. done. Oh no, we gotta destroy that thing. Okay, so we're not done yet. Okay, so build that. Build a relay thing. Oh, anywhere! 
Just connect them, connect the dots, there we go, and then we build the nullifier. Done! There you go, game over. We win! Finished! Oh crap! Oh no, we finished! Okay, good. Woo! That is this game in a nutshell. Just a bunch of just crazy maps with crazy stuff you gotta deal with. And it's really cool. Let me show just an example of another map really quick and that'll be it. But this is essentially the game. You're fighting this creep wave coming towards you and you just have to stem the tide and then slowly push out. But there's just so many crazy things like... Oh, this one. This one's great. Just show it off really quick and then that'll be it. Not gonna actually do the level. Like this one is unpause. You start out here and stuff is randomly spawning the creep at all times. You have to quickly build your bases. And I would probably pause to do that and just build all my stuff up as the tide is coming and it is very quickly coming as you can see you just gotta build 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 and then it just comes over the walls as you can see there's dents in the walls where they can come over and it's just this is a pretty crazy one to do this is a very fun one to do and there's just i don't know there's like dozens maybe even more than dozens of levels from what i can tell i've played so many and i still haven't finished this game there's just a lot of levels in this game if you're hooked by the idea of this game, it is a very fun game. Me and Jigs have had a lot of fun with it, and that's why I'm showing it off here. It's a really fun game, a very different game. Very interesting idea here, and I like it a lot. Just show how the tide comes. And there you go, that right there is the one shot. I had fun making this video, if you had fun watching it, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. This is, a, this is Creeper World 3 by Knucklecracker. It's a $15 game right there. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.